to show you how to make yarn tassels for your knitting or crochet project. In these two versions I have actually added a little pearl to the tip of it and then this one is a double headed tassel. Um, but I'm going to show you today how to make a basic tassel. So in this demo today what I recommend that you do is you have some sort of um, tool that you can use to wrap your yarn around. I am using this just measuring device that I got from um, Bah Humble, but you can use your cell phone, you can use a book. It's totally your preference on what you'd like to do. I like this too because I'll use this edge to help me figure out um, how big I want to make the head of my tassel. Um, you'll also need some yarn. This yarn that I'm using is um, some sport weight yarn from the Frosted Stitch that I have left over. It's some stash yarn. And you'll also need a pair of scissors. So to begin, I'm going to take my tool or whatever I'm using to make the tassels and I'm going to get my yarn and I'm going to start wrapping. So I'm putting my thumb here to hold it in place and I'm going to go ahead and just wrap my yarn around. I'm going to bring my yarn over here to make it a little bit easier and it's really important that you count the number of wraps that you're making especially if you're making multiple tassels because you want them all to be the same size. So I've got one wrap that's two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna keep going, seven, and I'm gonna aim for 50, that's eight. Um, when I get to 50, I'm gonna meet you back and I'll show you what this looks like. So I have about 50 wraps right here and I have my long end of the yarn. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that now if I'm happy with how thick this is. And we're gonna take a second and talk about how to know how many wraps to do. There is no easy formula on this. It's going to depend a lot on what weight of yarn that you're using. Um, this sport weight will obviously require many more wraps than a bulky weight or even a worsted weight yarn. It also depends on how thick or full you want your tassel or if you want a long skinny tassel. So play around with it and see what you like, but remember to keep track of how many wraps you have again if you're making multiple tassels. So the reason I like using my little measuring tool here, my uh, gauge swatch measuring tool, is because I have a nice window right here where I can slip this yarn in. So I'm gonna take this length of yarn, my long end that I've cut off, gonna make sure to wrap that around and that stays there. So I have this length of yarn here and I'm gonna make a little cut and I'm going to have a nice long length because this is going to be the ends that I'm going to use to weave into whatever my work is. And I'm going to make a double knot. And I'm going to just kind of put that on. And I can squeeze it all the way up here if I want. And I'm going to make that nice and tight. Once I have that double knot just locked in place, I can go ahead and slide this off. Just like that. So you can kind of see the start here of your tassel. So I'm gonna take my ends again. I'm gonna really now tighten that down and I'll put another knot in there to secure it. And I'd probably recommend doing a couple of knots just to make sure it's nice and tight. So we'll do another one and maybe one more, just like that. And now we have a nice length of yarn here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, for me, I like to go ahead and cut my yarn. You can wait till you make the little head of the tassel if you want, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it now and feel pretty confident in that. So I'm putting, here's the area where the knot is. I'm putting my finger in there and just pulling this tight and then I'm going to rotate around take my scissors and cut. And we're gonna be trimming this also, so don't worry if it's not perfect. You're gonna to want to straighten it out later. Um, you could also take a second if you wanted to and steam your yarn um, in order to get it really, really straight. But I don't mind a little bit of the, the crinkle or the wave here. So now I have my yarn bound at one end and it's cut at the other. And I'm gonna take my measuring tool 
and I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna go with a one inch head for this. So we'll get some more yarn, get another length, go ahead and cut right there and I will lift this up and slide this under. And I'll leave that at the one inch mark right there and I will kind of go here and get it everything in place. And this is totally up to you. You do exactly what you want in terms of how big you want the head of the tassel to be. I'm gonna do a double knot again and let's get that double knot going. So measure that, bring that up, and now we're just gonna go ahead and tighten down just like that. And look at that, you have a little tassel. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and tight. Do another knot. And then I like to take the yarn to go around and bring this one around here, and then we'll do another set of knots. Just like that. And usually the side that I put the knot in is going to be the back part of my tassel. So I'll flip this around and show you. And you can see how this is looking right here. If you're not happy with how it is, go ahead and undo this knot and you can move this up. Sometimes I'll just take a little bit of the yarn on the sides and pull it if I want a slightly smaller head or I'll pull it from here if I want a fluffier head. And you can see that that's it. That's what it's gonna look like. So now we wanna figure out, okay, we have our head made. How do we make this end to look a little bit more even and trim? So take a second and just brush out your yarn and make sure that you don't have any strands that are not in, that are tangled up in there. And what I like to do is take my little gauge swatch and I'm gonna bring it all together here, figure out exactly where I want it. And then I'll go through and I'll cut right along the bottom of that swatch, of that gauge swatch tool, just like that. If you are a quilter or you have a fabric cutter, that would probably be a great tool to have too. Let me get, see if I have any of these hang around. And what I can do for this is just pull it up and we'll come this way and cut it. And that's it. So I'm gonna get all this out of the way. And then I can also rotate it a little bit and bring it forward with my fingers and then trim again. I feel like I'm a hairstylist when I do this. And that's it. So now I have my finished tassel with a much straighter edge. And um, like I said, there's a little bit of a wave. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and steam that out first, but I'm pretty happy with the way that is. So here we have our regular tassel. Here we have a double headed tassel. I made these three quarters of an inch each um, measuring with, the, um, with my little tool. And then there's a tassel with a little jewelry accent on it. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please do subscribe. It helps me to grow my channel. Thanks and happy crocheting, or in this case, happy tasseling. <laughs>